Now, Tito Andei is another of the towns the railway passes through. It's near the famous Savo National Park and has seen tremendous socio-economic growth since the Madaraka Express started operations. Let's take a look. This is the Mtito Andei station, roughly halfway between Nairobi and Mombasa. Since the Madaraka Express started operating, new businesses have sprung up all over town. One that stands out is the Savo Inn. We acquired this place in early, uh, late 70s. And this place has a historical value. This was a major spot. When Chinese people, when they came for accommodation, because they have started building railways, and this was one of the stations here, and we gave them accommodation, we had about 45 Chinese people staying in this little place. What started as basic accommodation for railway laborers has grown into a hotel, and the owner has big plans for the future. It is a man-eater's place. We had situation, we have had historic situation for Chinese and Indians have given good sacrifice for this railway. And I really feel that I would like to have this place and make it an Indo-China museum of railways. Until then, there's plenty to occupy visitors and passengers on the SGR as it passes through Kenya's oldest national park, Chomgono CGTN. <laughs>